First, I will introduce the basic structure of SVG. It consists of two parts, the container body part and the outdoor reactor part. The control cabinet area is divided into a main control part and a main loop startup part. The main control part is composed of a main control box, PLC, HMI, a switching power supply, a relay, a filter, an air switch, a CT board, a PT board, a relay board, and a self-developed uninterruptible secondary power supply system, etc. The main circuit part is composed of a primary cable terminal, an isolating switch QS1, a contactor KM1, a buffer resistor R, and a state detection device, etc. The power cabinet in the power cabinet part is mainly composed of power units, which constitutes the main body of SVG reactive power composition. The power unit is installed in three phases with equal number. The outdoor reactor part mainly includes a reactor group and an outdoor fence. Introduction of installation and use tools. The following main tools will be used when installing SVG. A cross screw driver. A set of vernier wrenches. Installation steps. Install the power unit. When carrying the unit packing box, handle it gently and do not step on it or bump it to prevent damage to the terminal power unit. Lift out the power unit. When lifting the unit, exert on the frame of the power unit instead of the capacitor. Install the complete machine. The installation of the power unit is relatively simple. There is a black handle at the front of the unit and a power connector at the back. Leave to the unit and place it on the power unit guide reel of the complete machine. Push the unit back when inserting a half so that the primary connector of the unit can be connected reliably. After all units are installed, fix the front and guide reels with the bottom corner fixing bolts of the unit. Connect to the optical fiber. Take out the optical fiber from the trunk link. The exit position corresponds to the top of each power unit. Remove the optical fiber on the unit control board as a protective plug. Each conjoined power unit has two unit control boards. Each unit control board is connected to two optical fibers. The color of the optical fiber head corresponds to that of the optical fiber socket on the printer. The blue optical fiber head is inserted into the blue optical fiber socket and the gray optical fiber head is inserted into the gray optical fiber socket. Install the cooling fan. The fan is outside the container. When shipping, a metal plate is installed at the installation position of the fan to play the role of transportation ceiling. When installing the fan, first remove the ceiling metal plate When installing the fan, take the fan to the air outlet at the back of the SVG cabinet. With the side with the power cord facing the power threading hole, align it with the fixing hole reserved in the box and use the combination screws for fixing. Note, in order to prevent the fan from moving during installation, the screws cannot be tightened at this time. After all the screws are fixed, a wrench can be used for tightening. Connect to the power wire of the fan. After the fan is fixed, the power is introduced into the box through the threading hole and then open the back of the power cabinet to block the side door. Fix the fan power wire to the terminal block in the corresponding sequence and cover the terminal cover after the power wire is connected. Install the fan cover. Take the fan to the installed fan at the back of the cabinet. Align it with the fixing holes reserved in the cabinet and use the combination screws inside the cabinet for fixing. Note, 
in order to prevent the fan cover from moving during the installation process. The screws cannot be tightened at this time. After all the screws are fixed, use a wrench for tightening. Primary through wall terminal. The through wall terminal is used to connect the SVG body with the outdoor reactor. It is also sealed with a metal plate during transportation. First, remove the sealing metal plate. When installing, pay attention to the direction of the through wall casting. All parts with cast iron are placed inside the container. From the inside of the box, place the through wall casting into the reserved hole of the container and then use hexagon head bolts for fixing. Add flat gaskets, spring washers and nuts, and finally tighten. Note, when installing the through wall casting, handle it gently to prevent the through wall casting from being damaged. After installation, make sure that the direction of the wiring copper bar of the through wall casting is vertical. Glue and seal the fastening bolts of the through wall casting and the joint. Installation of outdoor reactor. The outdoor reactor part is composed of pad iron, magnetic isolation bracket, rubber pad, pillar insulator, and reactor body. Connect to the pad iron, magnetic isolation bracket, rubber pad, and pillar insulator by the bolts in sequence and tighten the bolts. Lift up to the hollow reactor. Connect to the hollow reactor with the supporting part by bolts. Adding a rubber pad between the reactor and the supporting part and fasten the bolts. After the hollow reactor is assembled, move the hollow reactor directly above the site foundation. Align the pad iron with the embedded steel plate on the foundation and place it on the embedded steel plate. After checking that all bolts are tightened, Weld the pad iron to the embedded steel plate on the foundation. Precautions When installing the pillar insulator, pay attention to the direction of the umbrella skirt. When installing the reactor, there is no conductive closed loop among the reactor. The ceiling, ground, wall, and adjacent reactors, the distance from the center of the coil to the wall should be greater than 1.1 times of the outer diameter of the coil and the distance to the ceiling should be greater than 0.5 times of the outer diameter. The ground wire of the reactor post insulator shall not form a closed loop. Installation of outdoor fans Refer to the installation diagram for assembly. Precautions Evenly spot weld all the installed column bases and the embedded steel plate around. After welding, the welding slack should be cleaned and the welding place should be painted with anti-rust paint to prevent rust. All fixing bolts of the fence must be tightened. It is necessary to install an insulating gasket on a random column to form an insulating open point and prevent the fence from forming a closed loop. Installation of cable bracket Refer to the schematic diagram for assembly. Primary cable connection the eternal unit link of the box is linked with the through wall terminal. The cable unit segment has been connected when it leaves the factory, and it only needs to be connected to the corresponding IA, OA, IB, OB, IC, OC through wall terminal wiring copper plate according to the cable printing mark. Primary cable connection from reactor to container through wall terminal. The A-phase output through wall terminal OA of the SVG power cabinet is connected to the input terminal IM of the outdoor A-phase reactor. The B-phase output through wall terminal OB of the SVG power cabinet is connected to the input terminal IM of the outdoor B-phase reactor.
the C-phase output through wall terminal OC of the SVG power cabinet is connected to the input terminal IN of the outdoor C-phase reactor. The output terminal out of the outdoor A-phase reactor is connected to the A-phase input through wall terminal IA of the SVG power cabinet. The output terminal out of the outdoor B-phase reactor is connected to the B-phase input through wall terminal IB of the SVG power cabinet. The output terminal out of the outdoor C-phase reactor is connected to the C-phase input through wall terminal IC of the SVG power cabinet. Remove the blockage on the fiber cotton at the air inlet at the bottom of the container before powering on. If the device is installed without electricity for a long time, do not remove the plug first to reduce the entry of external moisture. When actual installation on site is completed, clean up the sanitation in the cabinet and restore the side ceiling door panels. At this point, High Voltage Dynamic Reactive Power Composition Device SVG, have been introduced. Remind everyone again that, during installation, all bolts connecting the high-voltage cable and the copper plate must be securely fastened to prevent heat generation due to loosening, and the secondary line cable must also be firmly connected to prevent malfunction due to loose cables. After the installation is complete, a self-inspection must be performed to ensure that the SVG device is installed in place. When installing the SVG device on site, the SVG box must be firmly welded to the site grounding point and the armored input and output cables must be fixed with cable clamps.